Hello everyone, this is Kingsley from Kingsbird Designs. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to solve a problem whereby you are trying to open a work that has been done using a higher core draw you in a lower core draw file. So for example, if you if a work is particular particularly done, let me say for example using core draw 19 and you intend to open it with core draw X3. If you happen to lose maybe your core draw 19 or you Get to a system whereby corridor 19 is not there how you can actually open that particular work using a lower version of corridor i'm going to show you how to do that like for example you can see this work was originally done using corridor 19 as you can see i'm using corridor 19 here for this work so i'm going to save this particular work let me save it let me save as on my desktop i'm going to save it as let me say logo now i'm going to, it's been saved as Core draw file 2019. Then I'll just hit on OK. So it's been saved. When I go to my desktop, you're going to realize this is it. Yeah, as the logo. So now I'm going to introduce it. You'll be using a particular software which is which is Inkscape. The software Inkscape, you can download it online. You can when you get this software, you just open it install it and open um, i already have mine open here so what you are going to be doing is just for us to come to open then select the logo then open it using your inkscape now you can see this is actually opened here so now if should in case your work is more than this particular page that's some part of it is hidden and it's not showing you can actually bring select everything and bring them to the center of the page so that it's to be shown now after doing this you are going to just come here and hit on save us so saving it has then you come select eps make sure you select eps then after clicking on eps you're just going to do save then ensure you tick this convert to curve convert text to part ensure you select that and leave other things the way it is then click on ok now when you come i come back to my desktop you can see the new logo as eps now i'm going to come to my corridor x3 you can see i'm using my corridor x3 here so now what i'm going to do is come to file then open then the next thing i'm going to do is to click on my eps file that's the logo the eps file then i'll just click on open should come let me say has text then okay you can see how i've been able to open that particular work using corridor x3 so i can do all necessary editing i want to do to this particular work all right this particular trick is going actually going to help you out when you're just working maybe it's something that is not too large for like why i'm saying that is for example if maybe you're working on something that is too heavy like maybe say doing a, a very heavy design maybe say something like maybe like something like this the pattern the image involved are they are too much and it is system may find it difficult to actually bring that out for you but in case you're just doing maybe slight something or like trying to edit any logo you've done before this can be actually helpful all right in case you've learned anything from this video i want to give it a like share it and also and if you have any question or any video you want me to work on you can actually leave everything at the comment box thank you until next time bye from here for now